Hi everyone, my name is Carl Banner and I am actually having to record the CEX ruler a second time. Uh, I've just come to edit it and found that there was no audio because for some reason OBS forgot what my microphone was. So, without further ado, um, I guess I bought some stuff from CEX yesterday and it's already arrived. Um, the reason I bought it, um, I was just randomly looking on Facebook and spotted somebody who posted that there'd been a big drop of retro in the shop and included in there were a couple of what I thought might be bargains as well as a game that I've been after for a while, a pricier title that I've been hoping to find with the manual. So let's have a look. I'm going to start with the Mega Drive stuff. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of keepers. Um, so first up, I have Paperboy. Uh, two for the Mega Drive. Um, I say this is a keeper. I am sort of on the fence about it, um, but I did just de-sticker it, so maybe I am keeping it um, subconsciously, um, I've decided. Um, but there is some text that somebody has written on the cover there. Um, but other than that, it's complete with the manual. Um, the reason I was debating returning, it was not just the text that somebody had written on it. But it just looks a little bit faded on the front. Um, the picture quality just doesn't look as good as it should be. Um, and so I'm wondering if it's just some faded. But no, I I am. I'm going to keep it. I am. I've decided it's mine. Um, if I find another one down the road that hasn't got the manual, then I can always do a swap a room at some point. But for now, it's staying. Uh, also staying, finally got a copy of Flicky. Um, it's not a Genesis version. Um, albeit there is a ding in the top there, but I can live with that. Um, but it does have the manual. Um, so all in all, I am happy with this. I haven't played this since we rented it back in uh, the 90s when I was a kid. And so I may have to play it again just to relive that nostalgia. And then the final keeper um, is one that was classed as unboxed. And whilst the box is definitely damaged, um, I think I'm comfortable with the amount of damage um, and it's tough man contest. Um, so 32x game, don't get many of them. There is a hole up here, um, but other than that, there's just the usual crushing that happens with these boxes. Um, and with it being classed as unboxed, it meant that I paid £20 rather than 35 so I've saved myself 15 quid getting it in this condition. Admittedly, I did pay 3 quid postage, so I suppose I've saved 12 but... You know, I, I like to think it as 15 because then it's a bigger margin. Um, the two games that I am unfortunately going to be taking back today. Um, the first one is a 32X game and that's Metalhead. Um, now, again, it's got some damage, um, but I feel that the damage on this one is a bit more significant, especially as the margin between a boxed copy and an unboxed copy is only £5. So when you factor into it that I pay £3 for postage, if I just pay an extra couple of quid, I can get a boxed copy that will hopefully be in much nicer shape. Um, but a bit gutty because it's got the Sonic who, uh, Smoking Who Needs It uh, sticker on there, which... I haven't got one of them for the uh, 32X yet. Uh, I have got one on the Mega Drive. Um, there's a big sticker that's been removed here and it's left all the residue behind. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's torn any of the actual artwork. So with a bit of patience and adhesive remover, that could be recovered. Um, but the crushing on the tray is absolutely awful. The tray itself is battered inside and held together with sellotape and hope. Um, it is complete with the manual. Um, but I think for me, for the sake of an extra £5, I'm going to return this one and get my uh, 35 nicker back. Uh, and then the last one, um, and this one is unfortunately going back as well, and it's the one that I really hoped had the manual. And I think if it had the manual, I might have lived with the condition flaws. But no manual plus the condition is going to go back, especially at £100. Um, and that's June, the battle for Arrakis. Um, so you can see at the top, it looks like it's been held out of the cover at some point and it's just been folded and creased and battered. But that transfers all the way around the cover. Um, and as I say, had it had the manual, I think I would have dealt with the fact that it was like that. Um, but unfortunately, no manual plus the condition. 
I'm going to hold out and hopefully get a better condition one down the road. So a couple of wins, three wins, a couple of losses. I'm happy. Um, whether my CEX will be happy because I've got a big bag of stuff to take in as well and a couple of returns. So we'll do that today. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you see you in the next one.